Hi, and welcome to Tony's Cool Tools. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the handiest and most useful tool or useful attachment for a tractor, in my humble opinion. And you're wondering what this might be, since this is all empty? Let me show you. So today we're gonna to be covering two different forks, the Artillion Pallet Fork and the Everything Attachment Fork, and what makes them different. And in full disclosure, I am not being sponsored or paid by either Artillion or Everything Attachment. I just wanna show you what's available out there. As I pointed out before, my job isn't selling you product, it's giving you information on products so you can make an informed decision when you go to buy. Like the old saying, knowledge is power and you'll have it. So as I mentioned, the pallet forks are indispensable for me. And let me show you several of the things that it can do. And before I owned a grapple, I used the pallet forks to move all my logs. So moving IBC totes is extremely important to me. Check it out. Having pallet forks to move my pallets or IBC totes onto my trailer is also very important. Check it out. Though I don't recommend it, people do use their pallet forks for digging or getting stumps out like this. Now the other benefit of having a set of pallet forks is for lifting something. So when you buy a used or new tractor, typically the loader bucket comes with it. So that's one attachment that you have. But in my opinion, the next attachment is a pallet fork. Now you may not necessarily need it initially, but what I find is for multiple applications, the pallet forks work great and are indispensable on my property. Okay, stop me if you've already heard this or you've actually done this, and that is in looking for a set of pallet forks on either Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, you find an ad that says heavy duty pallet forks and you get a super price for it three, four, five hundred dollars. Here's the problem. All men love the word heavy duty. And what that means is it's going to be heavy. And what I mean by that is heavy duty pallet forks are typically 500 pounds or more and are 48 inches long on the tines. And we'll discuss that in a little bit. Now heavy duty is great, but here's the problem with it. And that is if you have a compact or subcompact tractor and your lifting capacity is let's say 800 to 1200 pounds by putting a 500 pound pallet fork on you're taking a tremendous amount of lifting capacity away from your from your tractor i was extremely fortunate when i bought my first tractor it came with a number of attachments one of them was a homemade set of bolt-on uh, pallet forks and they bolted right on this lip over here with this big screw that i would turn on and they seemed pretty good. But what I found is there was two problems with them. The first problem was it moved the center of your lifting capacity from your arm back here all the way up probably 24 inches or more in the front, making your capacity for lifting that much less because it was just basically pulling everything down. The next problem that I had is since the pallet forks were in the bucket here from the tractor seat, I couldn't see them. So I can't tell you how many times I had to keep jumping off and on to try to put a pallet on. There's no visibility here because of this bucket. And the other potential problem you have is if you have a light duty bucket, by putting, by bolting on your pallet forks on the lip here, you're only putting it on maybe six to 12 inches at max so anything you're lifting is bending the front of your uh, loader bucket down. So there's a potential for bending your tractor bucket. But if you don't use pallet forks a lot, that might be the answer for you. 
and they are fairly inexpensive. You can pick them up for usually two to four hundred dollars. So I used my bolt-on pallet forks for about a year, and after that I knew I wanted to upgrade. And what I chose at that time was the Everything Attachment Pallet Fork. And I've been extremely happy with them for the last five years. So here's a few reasons why I went with the Everything Attachment Pallet Fork. First, it could lift 2,200 pounds. Second, it only weighed 235 pounds. Third, it was made in the USA. And I chose to go with the 3 by 42 tapered forks, and I'll explain why a little later. The other thing that this has is a fixed brush guard on here. And the overall measurements are 45 by 30. And it does come with a skid steer quick attach, or you can get it in the John Deere version for those people who have that green tractor. And I almost forgot, it's made out of A572 grade 50 steel. After looking at several other manufacturers of pallet forks, I found several features that I wish I had on my everything attachments. I became familiar with the Artillion pallet fork system after doing a review on their tractor storage system. That's video 76, you should check that one out. And they had several features on theirs that were extremely impressive and very beneficial. So let me explain and show you why the Artillion system is so different. First, all the Artillion products are made in the USA using US steel. And this is the heart of the system, this base plate here. And yes, it's either skid steer quick attach or you could get it in John Deere as well. And when I say system, all other attachments from Artillion are mounted on this plate. Or whether it's a snow plow, a grapple, a stump bucket, the pallet forks, they all fit on this base plate. All these products are made with A572 grade 50 steel. And similar to the criteria that I was looking for when I first got my pallet fork, A, they had to lift at least 2,200 pounds. This particular system comes in at 3,000. It has a maximum capacity of 3,000. So that's 800 more pounds than the everything attachment. Second, as I mentioned, it is made in the USA. And third, depending on how I accessorize this, the weight on this with just the plate and the forks is 219 pounds. And here are those unique features I told you I wish I would have had on my everything attachment. The first one is these chain slots. I can put in a 5 16 chain here by just clipping it into the spot right here. Now I can go ahead and lift items like uh, brush mowers or anything else without having to get my pallet forks on. And it's extremely easy and convenient and fast. Oh, and I forgot to mention, the chain slots are not only on top but on the bottom, so you have four points of contact. And without a doubt, the tow feature on the Artillion pallet fork is a game changer. I shuttle equipment around a lot and I use my rear three-point drawbar to move everything. It's so much easier to shuttle stuff going forward than it is going back. And let me show you. I can see everything as I'm working. Everything attachment pallet fork comes with a fixed brush guard. The Artillion system is one that you have an option of either putting a brush guard on or not. And within one minute you can take it on or put it off. It just glides in these little clips. And you use these pins right here, one on each side, and it clips in and you're ready to go. So if you don't want the brush guard, you can remove it. So the brush guard weighs 23 additional pounds, bringing the total system to 242 pounds. And the everything attachment, 235 pounds. So there's only a seven pound difference, but you get the two inch receiver and the chain slots. And though the brush guard is not rated for pulling or lifting up, it does have a capacity of 500 pounds. So if you had a box that fell backward, this could support up to 500 pounds. And even with the brush guard attached, you still have access to your chain slots right here so you can lift stuff up. 
Not only are Artillion products powder coated, but they also have a proprietary graphite film that's put on the, the wear plates right here. So the pallet forks slide easily. You do have a choice of your pallet forks in either 36, 42, or 48. And let me show you why I went with the 3 by 42. Now here's the reason why I went with the 3 by 42 inch pallet fork length. And that is, I move a lot of these IBC totes, and they're awfully heavy. So I wanted to make sure that they were supported by the frame out here. I also store a lot of these IBC totes in my pole barn on Home Depot style racking. And this fits perfectly, this, this uh, IBC tote fits perfectly on there. So if I went with the 36 by 42 inch pallet, I'm no longer supported on the frame. I'm supported by this piece of metal. And though it's thick, there is a potential that it could puncture through it. So now that we've covered the Artillion pallet fork system, I want to show you an accessory they have that'll complement not only the pallet forks, but also your loader bucket. And it's called the Forken Bucket. No, I'm not swearing at you, and it does sound like a German name but it's an accessory to help you move this around your pole barn or your garage if you have a concrete floor or, floor or on asphalt. Let me show you. But before we do that, let me give you some specs. These casters here are rated for 250 pounds each. So that gives you a thousand pounds weight that you can put on here and move comfortably. And it also has two locking casters here to make it easy when you're loading product on top of it so it doesn't move around you can move your fork and bucket extremely easily. So here's the loader bucket mounted on top. And now with the fork installed here, it's a smaller package and I can roll this around the shop easily and put it away for storage. Oh, and I forgot to mention, the pallet pockets on this cart will accept either three inch or four inch pallet forks. And one last thing, you could modify this to store your grapple or your ballast box. So I hope you found this video on the Artillion and the Everything Attachment pallet forks interesting. I will say I would not be without a set of pallet forks on my property. They are just so handy. Now I will have contact information on both companies in the info section below. So if you've enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up as well. And remember, Pass it forward, make the world a better place, and don't be a tool. Watch Tony's Cool Tools. Until I see you next time, have a great one.